Okay, so the last word problem I'm going to do, if you need to look at any variations on this, do uh, look in the book, you know, the 4.3 section, uh, problems on linear equations. Now then, okay, so we've got a plane that's going 756 miles. It's three hours with the wind, it's going faster with the wind. Uh, seven hours coming back against the wind, slower against the wind. Now, what's the speed of the wind? So the speed of the wind is going to either be x or y. I'm going to call it y here, okay? So there we go. Plane speed is x and the wind speed is y. That's how we define it. Now, so um, if you think about this, um, if I do a little diagram, going that way, all right, it's going 756 miles. Now, the speed going with the wind is going to be this, x plus y. Okay, think about it, that's going with the wind. Um, okay, so if it's going against the wind, now don't forget, so with the wind, it's going, it's going to take three hours as well, so I'll write that next to it, okay, three hours. So make sure I know that that's with that one, okay? So that's with the wind going three hours. Against the wind, so we'd say that, okay? So we're going to take off that to headwind, okay? And that takes seven hours. Now, I've got kind of all the information I hear just by reading the question and a little diagram. Um, so I'll do that going back. Let's go this way. Okay, same. Okay, there we go. Now that's, remember, that's still 756 miles. So, over to one side. Remember this. Distance equals speed times time. All right? So, uh, what's the distance? Okay, I'm going to do two equations now. Over here, right. 756 is the distance. Now the speed with the wind we've just said is x plus y. Okay, that's the speed with the wind and the time with the wind is three hours. Okay. Now remember I've got an x and a y. I always need two equations to solve for two variables. The other one, 756, is still the same distance coming back against the wind, but this time its speed is x minus y. And this time the time is seven hours. Okay, and that is pretty much it. There you go. Um, those are the two equations. Okay, distance equals speed times time with the wind and against the wind. So let's do some distributive law. Seven five six equals uh, that's going to be three x plus three y. Okay, just multiply through by the three. So yeah, there's one equation. And the other is 756, that's also distance, but this time with the distributive law and the 7, I've got 7x minus 7y, okay? Right, so here we go, here are my two equations that I'm going to use. Okay, so um, now looking at that, I'm going to do the elimination method. Uh, it looks like y might be the, the good one to get rid of, already 1's plus and 1's minus. So it looks like I also need to get to 21. Can you see that? Think of lowest common multiples, okay? 3 and 7, 21. So I'm going to multiply this one by 7. So I'm going to have to get my calculator up. So I'll start. Uh, so I just, you know, if you see anything popping up on the screen, uh, accessories, calculator. Right, okay, so uh, 7 times 756 equals right okay I'll just minimize that so 5 2 9 2 equals and everything by 7 here is going to give me 21 X and 21 Y okay there we go okay now then the second one by 3 so this one's going to be by 3 isn't and just over here, this is the reason why I'm going to get negative 21y. Okay, okay, that's why I did it. Okay, negative 7 times 3. Okay, so there we go. That's how it's balancing it. But let's do the rest. Uh, 3 times the x, that will give me to the 21x. Okay, as well. Equals, and again, I'm going to need my calculator for this. Whatever 3 times 756 is. Let's clear that. 3 times 756 equals 2268. Right. 2. Two, six, eight. Now then, here we go. When I add these together, the y's will go. That's why I did it. So I'm left with 42x. Now I still need to know what 5292 and 2268 is. Right, here we go. 
So 2268, let's add 5292, and that will equal 7560. Right, 7560. Okay. So, divide by the number next letter. Let's divide both sides by 42. 42. 42. And over here, uh, space, I'll just put here. X equals, right, what, 7560 divided by 42. So, divide that by 42 equals 180. Right, X is 180. Now, what that says is, you just found the speed of the plane without any wind attached to it okay now you can just go back into any one of these equations uh, and figure out what y will be so um, I think I'll go back and use this equation here alright okay we we'll use that one the 756 equals 3x plus 3y right three lots of x I'll just come down here okay so three lots of x what's three lots of 180 is that 540 right 540 that's the three lots of x. Sorry, I should, still should have had 756 on this side. Okay. And that is still plus 3y. Right, take away 540 from both sides. Okay, so it's gone from there. Take away 540. So I'm left with squeezing at the bottom here. Right, what's that? That is 216. And that equals 3y. If I divide both sides by 3, I'm going to get 72. So y equals 72. And that, folks, is the speed of the wind. All right, a lot going on there. But again, think about the set the setup right here. Okay, right at the start here. A lot of credit for this. Just look at it. Distance. There it is. Equals speed with the wind times time. And the one below is just the speed against the wind times time. Okay, adding the wind speed plus y, taking it off minus y, and the two times. Okay, think about that one.